Alrighty, uh, just an update on the uh, electrical panel box for the cargo trailer. Uh, pretty much spent the last, I don't know, hour, hour and a half getting this all done. So uh, made it all nice and neat. All the grounds to the uh, uh, common uh, ground bus bar there. Uh, white wires coming down into the, there. And of course the blacks are hot is going to the perspective uh, breaker switch. So I got the two 20s on the bottom, which is that outlet for the fridge and this outlet that will be rigged up for the air conditioner uh, with the little vent thing down there. Um, <clears throat> so got to clean up these wires up here. Um, started working also this morning on insulating the, the front venos. That was a pain in the butt uh, just because it's a slant nose V and angled. So the triangle part I had to cut in two pieces and kind of use spray foam. Um, these little triangle pieces here were a pain in the butt. So I just did one rectangle in the middle and then just did uh, little triangles and mimicked each side, which seemed to be okay. Um, I used the liquid nails down there to help secure it to the top of the cargo trailer um, and if you all didn't catch on a previous video on my earlier days this is uh, Henry's roof coating right here I uh, got two layers of that stuff uh, this is it right here so uh, kind of helps give a little extra uh, protection uh, moisture barrier I think and also just kind of helps reflect some of the heat I don't know how big of a difference it's gonna make but uh, I lined the entire inside with that stuff. So um, it's not that much hotter in here than outside right now. I got the back door open, so a little cross breeze. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish up that outlet, that outlet, and I have um, LED, 12 volt LEDs here. Uh, and I got some uh, Lou on board. Basically what I'm gonna do just for temporary is just make one big long strip down to the last cross beam there and uh, probably just install six of those LEDs. They're not very bright, but it'll uh, illuminate the inside. I think there are only three watt a piece, so it's kind of a soft white. Um, and these wires here, it's gonna be run off of this switch right there uh, for the interior overhead lights. Um, <clears throat> basically, they're just gonna run off of a battery, so doesn't matter John Deere or deer feeder battery a little uh, motorcycle battery and I'll just put the battery down here and if I need to I have a trickle charger I can just plug in and uh, keep it charged up for now but anyway it's just temporary man we got a, a Florida trip in two weeks so I'm kind of crunched for time I just need to get this thing functional right now uh, so we can live in it for uh, for a week uh, while we're down there in Pensacola fishing and everything but anyway that's the update guys thanks